What's up, guys? So I just learned that I can connect my Divi WordPress site directly to Infusionsoft. That means I can capture leads, um, tag them, add them to Infusionsoft, and uh, start automation without using any plugins at all. Uh, pretty slick, and uh, if you're interested, let me show you. Okay, so the goal here is to replace um, the Rapidology uh, opt-in box here with a native opt-in box uh, for my Divi theme. So I use Divi on my website and um, uh, apparently Divi can connect directly to Infusionsoft. That's news to me, um, but if I can reduce the number of plugins that I am uh, dependent on, that would be great. So uh, here I have that same page uh, and you can see right here I have the Rapidology free trial opt-in. So we can actually just remove that one um, and then let's add a new module. And the one we're going for is uh, the email opt-in. So uh, in the Divi builder, you have a number of widgets here. Uh, email opt-in is uh, one that I had never used until uh, just recently. So let's say start my free trial um, and then we'll just change the button text to let's do this, right? Something real simple uh, just for the sake of, uh, of testing. And then down here on our email account, uh, we need to select Infusionsoft. And uh, you can see, I don't have any Infusionsoft lists. That's uh, that's their way of talking about tags. I don't have any tags because I have not yet connected my Infusionsoft account. So we need to click add um, account name. Uh, I think you can just make up. So I'm gonna call this monkey pod. Uh, you need your API key and you need your app name. My app name is CR984. Uh, the API key we're gonna get from the admin uh, settings section in your Infusionsoft account. Um, if you go to the application tab and then scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, you should have an API key. I'm just gonna copy mine. Uh, if you don't have one there yet, you need to generate one by adding an API passphrase and then clicking save. That'll give you the encrypted key. Um, so let's hop back over here and uh, paste in that API key. Uh, and then we'll click Submit, which should connect it to my Infusionsoft account. Hmm, okay. So I got an error message there, but uh, you can see uh, it did successfully connect because I have uh, a list of, of my tags here now. So I'm not sure what that error was about, uh, but it seems to have su successfully connected. So I'm gonna keep plugging away and hopefully this will work. Um, so somewhere in here, I have a tag for uh, the e-commerce pod free trial. Oh, snap. I found it. Ecom pod opt-in rapidology. That is the tag. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what these buttons do. Add, remove, fetch list. Add a new account. Don't want that. Remove. Don't want that. Oh, and fetch lists would just be uh, would just be updating our list there. So uh, that's what those options are. So once I have selected those, okay, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. Let's just see how this looks without changing any of the design settings. So let's do preview. Um, this should load up the page and have our um, our shiny new form there. Start my free trial, first name, last name, email. That actually looks pretty good. Um, I don't mind that one bit. Uh, I definitely don't need last name though, so let's go ahead and remove that. Um, email opt-in. And uh, somewhere we've gotta be able to remove what fields, there we go, don't need that. Use a single name field, success action. Oh, let's display a message. Um, Great choice, you're in. Check your inbox in a moment, okay? Um, and let's just change this to 61534B. That's my brown, um, okay. And you know what I'll do? Let's move this onto its own section here. Actually, you can just move the row because I'd like to give it a, uh, a background. Um, I think I have a couple in here that we can use. 
but maybe this campaign builder set and uh, we can do a border on the top. Six one five three four B save. Let's do another preview, but I think guys, I think that might be all it takes. If I can get those two boxes to be roughly the same size, that's not bad. Um, I'm also not a designer, so um, I probably will end up adjusting this so that it pops, uh, but I think that's that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with where that's at. I like that. I think it's an improvement over uh, the Rapidology box. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this page. Uh, we can close the preview, uh, and then once that publishes, we should be able to refresh uh, this form and see it swapped out. And there we go. So I got the video on the left-hand side, free trial on the right. Let's go ahead and test it. So we'll call this Divi test, and this will be um, admin plus Divi at monkeypodmarketing.com. Um, if you don't know about that trick, that's just a little Gmail um, uh, testing function where you can add plus and then any anything really to your core email address and it'll still be delivered, but in Infusionsoft it'll create a unique contact for testing purposes. So let's submit it. <laughs> okay, um, API request failed, API key is required. Um, I think I've already done the API key but let's double check that. Oh, maybe my f tag didn't get saved. Save. Let's try that one more time. Actually, before I test it again, I'm gonna open that widget and make sure that it is uh, hung on to that setting. Because if it's dumping the tag and not remembering, there we go, it looks like it's good. So we'll um, refresh this page. Got my info already. Fingers crossed. Great choice. You're in. Check your inbox in a moment. Um, now we can uh, check the campaign here. Uh, reporting. And I'm hoping that is our Divi test. Just like that. Um, brand new contact. Tag was successfully applied. Um, a couple other actions ran as well. Um, List Cleaner told me it's a good contact. Um, all right, party people, uh, that's it. So um, this is how you can use um, the email opt-in module in Divi to automatically capture leads and add them to Infusionsoft, triggering automation via tags. I uh, hope that saves you a few steps or alleviates your dependency on a plugin. Um, if you have any questions about this or if you spotted something that I missed, feel free to comment below the video. Otherwise, if you know someone who this would help, um, who happens to be using Divi and Infusionsoft, please feel free to share it with them. Later. Later.